Welcome to episode 32 of Stirred Up. Do you love the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? If you do as I do, then I have a major warning for you concerning the TV show, The Chosen. One of the responsibilities of a shepherd is to protect the sheep. Acts chapter 20 verse 28 3 0 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things, to draw away the disciples after them. We are all called to discern what is good and biblical teaching from what is not. Romans chapter 16 verse 17 18 I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught, avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery they deceive the hearts of the naive. With this in mind I want to make you all aware of something that recently happened regarding the hit show, The Chosen. Now there has already been ample evidence that The Chosen should be marked and avoided. Issues such as the Second Commandment, the open affiliation and defense of Mormonism, the support of homosexuality and more. I will put links detailing these unbiblical stances in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Unbelievably, many professing Christians continue to defend and make excuses for this show and those behind it. Perhaps what has just come to light will change that. Please listen to this recent interview and a clip from the show. I think when they see this version of Jesus portrayed, I think it really does. It, it matters that he's merciful, that he's, he's extending a lot of grace. Um, he has his own flaws in a human way. Like, he's very relatable. Jesus, please don't do that again, huh? Yes, Abba. May I read? We'll see. Hmm? Come now. We've got a long journey. What are you going to do for your mother for this in transgression, huh? Did you catch it? Flaws in transgression. In the interview, it is stated that Jesus had flaws, and that this is implied to be a good thing. In the show clip immediately following, Joseph asks a young Jesus, what are you going to do for your mother for this transgression? This is blasphemy. Flaws in transgression equals sin. In other words, to say Jesus had flaws, or that he transgressed in any way, or at any time is to say Jesus had sin. This is completely unbiblical. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 22 He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. 1 John chapter 3 verse 5 You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. The Chosen clearly does not portray a biblical Jesus. Instead, they are more excited to show a more relatable Jesus. But this Jesus is a different Jesus than the Word of God teaches, and a different Jesus brings a different gospel, and a different gospel does not save. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 9 I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. 7 Not that there is another one but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. 8. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. 9. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. Heavenly Father, may you lead those who are yours away from such damnable heresy. May you lead them by your spirit to the truth in your scriptures. May you be glorified and praised as you lead them out of darkness and into your gracious light. I thank you and pray this in the name of your holy, spotless, perfect Son, the Lord, God, and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.